Hi, my amazing planner friends. It's Tess from My Magical Planner. And today we have a new pen to unbox. I'm super excited about this. So I had returned a pen that was defective, got a shop credit, and was able to purchase this. I did end up paying more than what I had paid for the previous pen for this, but I think I'm going to like this pen better, honestly. If you missed the video about that previous pen, I will link it up above. So I've just taken this out of the bigger box that it comes in. So I have my Tootsie Pop from Goulet Pens. Um, evidently it's lemon. I didn't know they made lemon ones. <laughs> and then we have our sticker, which I think this might be my favorite one that I've gotten so far. I, I really love like the little sleepy town there and like the mountains. I want to say it's a snow scene, but I don't know that it necessarily has to be. It's just really cute. Then we have our typical little brochure that they have. And then today's order was packed by Sandy. I'm slowly working my way through the entire crew. <laughs> so this is what I got. It's an Estabrook. And this was something that they released maybe about a month ago, I, I want to say. It's fairly new in the shop. I think they're all sold out now, honestly, because it was such a good deal. It was like $175, which is the same price that you pay for just the pen, and you get some added little bonuses in here. So let's go ahead and open it up. So this is the first thing you see. This is actually even though this is incredibly pretty and everything. Well, okay then. <laughs> this is actually blotter paper. So you can use it as just decoration or you can use it as blotter paper if you want. But it kind of shows you everything that's gonna come in here. So we have some journals, we have the fountain pen and the ink converter. There's a little pen case slash sleeve. And then there's some cartridges for the pen. So just to kind of give you an idea. And then inside the box, this is what it looks like. I did get the blue one because I do have a thing for blue pens. <laughs> so the first thing here besides that, actually, if I can bend this, it'll stay a little better, is this little card, which I love this detail, honestly. This is to kind of, I think there's a warranty that's associated with this pen because it is an expensive enough pen. So that's how you activate that. So I'll have to figure that out. And I love the little envelope. I mean, the detail on it, because this is the Estabrook symbol if you haven't picked up on that. So we have that. Next, I'm gonna go with these because I wanna save the pen for last. So we, we get three little notebooks here. And honestly, I wasn't sure if the fountain pen friendly paper is all I know about it. And, oh, okay, that's how they're wrapped. I was curious what paper might be inside here. It looks like a dot grid. It feels very similar to like my Rodet. Rodea? What is it called? Hold on. I don't know if it is, but it, oh, Romeo. This paper feels almost the same to me. Oh, maybe this is a little smoother. Are there any other ones that maybe, it's not the Tomo River. Um, this is similar, but not, again, not the same. So it's a very smooth paper, I guess, is all I would say. I was thinking about using this as like an ink swatch journal, so I could put like a swatch per page, maybe, and I thought that would be a good use for it. So it comes in green, dark gray, and light gray. I don't know if there was variation on this depending on the color pen, because there were a couple different pens you could get. So there is that. These are obviously the ink cartridges. And, oh, it says we get five of them in here. I don't know that I'll use these, 
but I like having the option. So I do like just a spot like that. Um, so it's five ink cartridges, but it doesn't say what color. It looks to be black, I would assume. And I think they're all the same color. So we have those. I'm saving the pen for last. <laughs> then we have this, which I assume is our little pen case. So that if you wanna take it out, you can have your pen very well protected. Obviously a very, it's like canvas on the outside. I like the fact that it's blue. I know these varied in color depending on the pen. It's like a suede almost material, very soft on the inside. And then you would take your pen and just slip it in there. I actually really like that. This is a raised, almost grippy element. I don't know if there's a reason to that. It wouldn't surprise me if this element kind of wears off over time, but we'll just have to see. So we're gonna put that off to the side now that we have our pen out. So obviously you don't get the classic Estabrook case. This is the Estabrook SD um, in Navu. I think that's how you say it, N-O-U-V-E-A-U, -E and it's with blue and gold, it says. Um, that's just referring to the hardware, I believe, because if you order from Estabrook, I think you can not only dictate, you know, what the, the pen is, but also what color hardware you have on it. So one unique thing about this particular pen is it does have a, a special cap that kind of, it's like a pressure cap to keep the pen from drying out. So if we uncap it here, it should pop, like just a subtle pop at some point. There it is. So if you kind of, kind of has that little spring action to it and that's because it has like a cap inside a cap in there I don't know if you guys can see that but it helps keep the nib and everything kind of all pristine and from drying out because it kind of acts as a earlock so on the cap we have of course the clip it's sturdy and very similar to the clip I have on my Twisby, just like thinner, I would say. So nothing really to write home on, on that. And it is engraved here with the Estabrook name. Now I did get a fine nib on this. Not that it says it there, but they only had fine, which was fine with me because I happen to like small writing. It's supposed to be a very wet writing pen. We have two gold bands here and a slight step up there, but I don't think it's going to bother me much, to be honest. And then if we unscrew this part, there's our converter. Now, the one thing I did learn from that pen that was defective, so in that pen, I could not see the converter or access it in any way and that actually bothered me for cleaning purposes I found out so just something to think about so this is just a you know piston converter where you twist it down put it in and then suck up your ink now I'm still fairly new as I only have the three pens and it's been only a couple months that I've really been using the fountain pens. So I'm not an expert on anything. I will say that the nib on here looks bigger than the nib on my Twisby, which is the only real comparison I have. Um, the Twisby is an extra fine. This one is a fine. They're both steel nibs. So there is that. Um, the feet is definitely... A little bit different between them 
but I'm excited to ink this up and give it a try. All right, I have inked it up and I did decide to go with this Naveen Jack Frost because I think it's stunning and I really want to try it out in a pen. So that's what we did. I did have a little bit more trouble loading the pen because the nib is longer and I am working with a sample because I don't, I think I have five bottles of ink total. So we're going to find a blank page. And we're going to put Jack Ross, very smooth writer, very wet. Um, I really like these together, honestly. I think they're going to be really fun to work with. Although this is a, so they make a lot of different nibs. That's something that really appealed to me on this is they have um, like an extra fine, they also have a needlepoint. They have a journaler nib, which I'd never heard of before. Um, a scribe, I think is another one. If you go to their website, you'll see a bunch of different ones. So let's just see, no skipping. Not a lot of variation in line width from up to, to bottom. kind of curious here and then let's do a little square I always see them do this I'm like why do we do this I don't know but it is definitely a very wet ink in this pen at least and I think that's kind of nice like it's maybe a little bit wetter than anything else I've ever written with but I kind of like it. I like the sheen on this and let's see, can I do my, my smaller writing? It's going to be a little difficult. I mean, I, it's not huge writing, but I'll definitely have to go a little bit bigger with this pen just because of the size of the tip. To give you a comparison, so this is supposed to be a fine, then this one is also a fine, this is a Banu. So, and this fine is much smaller. comparatively. And then this one is an extra fine. And I do kind of prefer this extra fine, which makes me think I really like this so I might like it even more with a finer tip, but I am not complaining <laughs> by any strike of the imagination. So anyhow, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful to you. Until next time, I'll see you real soon.